Well, good evening. We are live here from Lake Area Sports for 1A4 basketball right here at Guy Perkins High School. Tonight it'll be between the Guy Perkins Thunderbirds and the Marshall Bobcats. And first the starters for Marshall, it'll be zero, Michaela Blair. It'll be number 10, Izzy Haynes. Number 11, Anna Raglan. Number 15, Audrey Blair. And number 35, Miley Harris. Those are your starters for the Marshall Bobcats tonight. Austin Stokes alongside my partner for the evening, Sterling Strickling. Sterling, it's gonna be a great one, huh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, great fine position, tradition at these two schools at Guy Perkins, numerous state championships, and Marshall always a tough contender. Well, and the starters for Guy Perkins tonight. And seniors, number three, Montana Bradford. It'll be. And number one, Peyton Morris. It'll be number 10, Blaylock JC. It'll be number five, Riley Passmore. Number 11, Jalissa Young. Number three, McKenna Bradford. And number one, Peyton Morris will be starting tonight for the Guy Perkins Thunderbirds. Just about set to kick things off here in this one. Waiting for both teams to be ready, and we will see tip off. First game of the season for the Lady Thunderbirds. They opened up that 23 24 campaign. Tonight, a, a lot later of a start to the season than a lot of schools in the area. But they're going to look to come out firing nonetheless. Let's just start playing football around here at Guy. So the latest start I've imagined in school history. Well, we are ready to go here with live basketball action on Lake Area Sports. It's up, and it will be Guy Perkins' ball first. It'll be number 11, Jalissa Young with it first. She presses in, gets it over to number three. McKenna Bradford. Brad, Bradford gets the ball back from number five, Riley Passmore. Passmore kicks it over to 10. J.C. Blaylock back to five. She scrambles at the top of the key. Pursued by 35, gets it over to number 10. JC, but it's going the other way. Marshall has it in the paint, they're up. And it'll be good, the Bobcats on the board first in this one. Two to nothing, your score. Great uses of the body by Harness there. Shield the body and shot it with her right hand. A beautiful shot. And so it will be the Bobcats ball once more. Have it in the paint, 35, Harris gets it over to Blair. Blair to the top of the key, it's up. Not gonna be good, the three-point attempt there from number 10, Izzy Harness. It's going back the other way. Number five has it moving to the corner. Heading back towards the top of the key, bobbles it. Bradford gets it, she scrambles, looks for somewhere open. It's out of the hands, and it's going back the other way. The Bobcats have it once again. Whistle blown, a traveling call there on looks to be number 15. Call that Audrey Blair, and it will be the Thunderbirds ball. Two to nothing your score, six and a half left to go in the first. It's the Thunderbirds ball down on their own side of the court. Passmore has it, gets that ball over to Bradford. Bradford kicks it over to Blaylock. Blaylock looking for someone open. She will find Bradford. Bradford back to Blaylock, back over to number five, Passmore. It's underneath, not gonna be good. Highly contested there off the shot from Jalissa Young. It's going the other way. That's up and through, no trouble. Getting on the board there, it's quickly four to nothing. The visiting Marshall Bobcats lead. Time called, we'll take it with them. We'll be right back after this. Mom, 
can we go to Woodland Mead Park? What's that? It's a park in Fairfield Bay with two miniature golf courses, disc golf, shuffleboard, volleyball, and basketball courts. And that's all in Fairfield Bay? Yep. I guess we can go check it out. Woodland Mead Park is located on Dave Creek Parkway in Fairfield Bay. We are back, ready to go here. It's moving down the other way for Guy Perkins. They lose it and it'll be Bradford ball once more. Moving underneath, out to the corner, it's up. Not gonna be good, right off the rim. Once again, Guy Perkins ball moving back down the court. That's in the hands of number 15, Audrey Blair, it's in the corner, it's bobbled. Guy Perkins will come out on top, they'll be moving the ball, a collision right there. Just moving into the three point line. Whistle blown. Guy Perkins has it. Down moving their own way. Jalissa Blair whistle blown after a collision into the paint with number 15, Audrey Blair. Marshall putting some pressure on the Thunderbirds, trying to get this game, get them to make some mistakes, get this game a little more fast paced. Playing great defense so far, very aggressive from the whistle. Guy Perkins has it, having trouble controlling the ball. Two on her and the whistle blown there. Going to have to be very strong with the basketball if you're the Lady Thunderbirds. They're putting their hands on them, being very physical. They're going to be as physical as the refs allow. And we are going again. Guy Perkins has it. Bradford looking to find someone open. Kicks it over to Blair. Blair with the feet set, moving the ball well. Quickly gets it to pass more, but it's bobbled up. It'll be Audrey Blair in there once again. And it'll be a jump ball and going for Guy Perkins. Guy Perkins have only got one shot off in this contest. Having a hard time getting it in the paint, getting to a chance where they can score. This Marshall defense so far has been very productive at keeping them out of scoring range. It'll be given to Peyton Morris, back to Blair. To pass more, but it's lost. And the shot clock will run out, but that doesn't matter. Blair right in front of it. Marshall has it, it's up and it's through. Six to nothing, the score here. Four twenty left to go in the first. It's up, Blair not gonna be good. Offensive board snagged by Guy Perkins. Blair up once Young. more. Young, Jalissa Young. Sorry, Jalissa Young. Six to two the score as Guy Perkins gets their first points on the board with just under four to go. Inbounded, Marshall has it. Moving across center court, gets it over to Harris. Harris to Harness, back over to number 11, Ragland. It's up, not gonna be good. Snagged by Marshall. So the whistle blown, it will stay Guy Perkins' ball there. Six to two the score, three and a half left. It's moving across half court. Young has it, gets it to Bradford. Back over to Passmore. Passmore looking to find a way in. Young has it. Gets it inside. It's up behind the goal. 
No good. Tough shot there by Morris. Highly contested. Marshall's ball once again. It's into the corner, back to Blair. It's up. Shot not good there by Miley Harris. Unable to rein it in. But that shot is up and good by Audrey Blair. Eight to two, the score now. Whistle blown. It will be Guy Perkins' ball. 2.46 left in the first. That foul being called on Michaela Blair. Her first foul of the night, the fourth in this quarter for Marshall, but they quickly get the ball back, taking their time getting it across half court. Gets it to Blair. Blair over to Harris. Harris back to Blair. It's up. And a beautiful shot there by Michaela Blair. 11 to two, the score after the three pointer was made. Unforced turnover by the T-Birds. That has been the kryptonite of a lot of high school basketball teams this early into the season. Going to need to overcome that getting later into this one, heading into conference play. Almost intercepted by Guy Perkins. Harris has it, looking for an open woman. And a great shot there from number 11, Anna Ragland, but it will not find net. And it will be Guy Perkins' ball once again. McKenna Bradford has it, moving across half court, gets it over to number 10, J.C. Blaylock. Blaylock back to Bradford. In the corner for Morris. It's underneath, and it's good. A McKenna Bradford coming through there, 11 to four the score now. Great give and go there by the Lady T-Bows. Setting themselves up well to get inside and find the net. That one's up and almost an answer of their own, but it'll be no good. Young moving back across court quickly, wasting no time, gets into the paint. She'll handle it herself. It's blocked and looks to be recovered by Marshall. It's moving back the other way. And she's tripped up and goes down. It's Guy Perkins' ball once again. Underneath, not going to be good. Rolls right back out the attempted shot there for McKenna Bradford. Quickly moving, Marshall's ball, and it's through. Number 15, Audrey Blair on that one. 13 to four the score here. 49 seconds in the first, whistle blown and a traveling call there. That'll be on number three, McKenna Bradford. Ball inbound once again, Marshall has it. 32 seconds on the shot clock, 42 on the game clock. Gets it over to Harris. Harris gets it underneath for Blair. Blair back outside for Ragland. Ragland up. Sorry, Blair up. And it'll be Audrey Blair who comes down with that one. 15 to four, your score. An 11 point game here. In the corner, Guy Perkins has it. It'll be number 14, Shelby Brown, getting her first minutes of the game here. And with the whistle blown, it'll be Marshall Ball once again, wasting no time, great tempo, getting it down the court. It's up. It'll go in and right back out, one second left. And that is the first quarter. Your score after one, the Marshall Bobcats with 15, and the T-Birds with four. We'll be right back after this.
And we are ready to go in the second quarter. Guy Perkins will start this one off with the ball. It'll be inbounded by number 10, J.C. Blaylock. She will probably look to find McKenna Bradford. And she will. Bradford has it, beginning her march to the goal. Gets it to Young. Young looks to find someone open, and she will find Blaylock. It's quickly over to number five, Riley Passmore, who has it, but she's well protected. Blaylock, this Marshall defense is all over Guy Perkins so far. Young has it, left her all open, and she's in and through. And more points on the board here for the T-Birds. 15 to six the score. T-Birds got to put some pressure on, on them on defense. Just doesn't let them shoot up, spot up, shoot. And a quick offensive board there to get them two more, 17 to six, opening it back up to an 11 point game. Once again, a quick answer for the Guy Perkins points getting on the board. Only six, or only four through one quarter of play. Something their coach is gonna wanna look to change out and maybe game plan a little better. Sterling, if you're the coach of this Guy Perkins team, what are you gonna tell your girls at the half? They gotta pick up the intensity. Be quicker on this zone defense. They, just because you play a zone don't mean you just lay back. You still go out and attack and, and hit the boards, getting up too many offensive reboards, uh, rebounds, <laughs> reboards. <laughs> Guy Perkins will miss that shot, so it's going the other way. Marshall has it, getting it underneath. Michaela Blair kicks it out to Miley Harris. Back to Blair, it's up and just across the other side of the rim. Guy Perkins wrestles for it, gets it going the other way. Peyton Morris up with it, no good. Well contested there, whistle blown, and it'll be going back for Marshall. Yeah, the, the zone need to be more active. And on the offensive end, keep the ball popping. Keep the bodies moving. Attack them. Don't just go around the perimeter. Playing very safe offense here. Safe offense and safe defense. To the top of the key, it's up. No good, it'll be bounced right back out. Almost a good chance for Guy Perkins to rebound and get the ball going the other way, and they'll do just that. Having a hard time getting it out of the paint. Whistle blown and jump ball called. It will be Guy Perkins' ball. It'll be J.C. Blaylock set to take this one out. So the whistle blown, and maybe we'll try it again. It's up. No good. The shot there from number 10, Izzy Harness. Moving back the other way, Peyton Morris the top of the key to Young. It's up. No good. It'll bounce right back out, and she will have it once again, but the whistle is blown there. I got them down for that. that was their first three-point attempt that I can remember. Yeah, that is their first three-point attempt of the night, waiting a long time to get it set up, and it did not connect for them. They'll have it once again. Kicks it in to Peyton Morris underneath to Young. It's in. And that was good offense right there, how you attack. Attack, attack, attack. Don't stand, stand back. When you're when you standing back on offense, the defense is getting more and more aggressive. And with that, it will be an and one opportunity. Some subs on the floor for Marshall. Young set. Whistle blown. Lane violation by Marshall. Getting in the lane too quickly. Young gets another chance. Sets. It's up. Not going to be good there either, but an offensive board quickly, and they will just get the points themselves. It's a seven-point game now. But Guy Perkins a chance to extend their lead. Blair up, and it's through easily for three. So it's now a 10-point game just like that. 20 to 10 the score, 518 left in the second. We on top of that 2-3, you got to get out to those wings real quick. And the back guy got to come and kind of hedge you up. 
before you can get there. That shot is up and no good. It'll bounce right off the rim. The three-point attempt from Guy Perkins. It's moving back the other way for Marshall. That was Audrey Blair trying to make that one, but it's not grabbed, and the ball will be knocked out of bounds, and it will be White's ball. A chance for them to once again try and narrow the lead down right before the half. 4.46 left to go here. No fouls yet for the home team, T-Birds. Gets it in quickly to the corner, moving back around. It's to Young. Young up with it. The two-point attempt not going to be good, but that one will by number five, Riley Passmore. Make it an eight-point game, 12 to 20. The score here, 420 left to go in the second. 30 on the shot clock. A great attempt on an old-school Euro step from Michaela Blair, but it won't connect. We will see Miley Harris come back into this one for Marshall. Blaylock inbounds it for Bradford. Comes across the floor, taking her time. Bradford coming in, gets it to Blaylock, kicks it out to Morris. Back over to the top of the key, it's up for two, and it's through. 20 to 14 the score now after the close almost three point attempt 345 left to go here it's Bradford's ball the shot is up no good offense or defensive rebound there by Jalissa Young she moves quickly across the court one person to beat gets it inside Bradford almost making a great shot there but it'll be rebounded by Passmore and Passmore, a nasty collision out of bounds with the Marshall bench, but she looks to be fine. Guy Perkins has it. To the corner. Back to Passmore. Passmore, a quick trade there. Blaylock. Tosses it across, it's up, and it's through. Peyton Morris will bring that one down. And she will take a trip to the line. 16 to 20 the score, now a four point game. Guy Perkins really stepping it up here in the later half of the first half. It's up, no good. They'll have to be content with two, and that was number 15. Andre Blair slammed to the ground there. And with the whistle blown, Jalissa Young will head to the baseline. Back to Young, Young inside. Kicks it out to a wide open McKenna Bradford, but the shot is no good. The rebound is nabbed by Marshall, and it'll be punched out of bounds there by number five, Riley Passmore for Guy Perkins. And a timeout. It'll be a full timeout, so we'll take it with them right here on Lake Area Sports. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. One epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petty Jean Fiber, game changing internet. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and pre-approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. 
Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevy GMC in Heber Springs. And we are ready to go. Just under three minutes left in the second. That one's through by Marshall. Another offensive rebound. You see who scored that basket? I'm the off on that, I told us. I want to say that was number 15. Audrey Blair on that one. Knocked out of bounds there. Guy Perkins will have it. Two and a half to go in the first half. 16 to 22 the score. Guy Perkins catching back up to the deficit they were down. 11 points throughout the entirety of the first quarter. And after the shot is missed there, it's going back the other way. Marshall has it driving across. It's up. No good. It'll bounce right back out. And the whistle blown. That's Blair again. High basketball IQ putting herself in a position to draw a foul and get a trip to the line. 24 to 16, a chance to make it 25 to 16. It's up and it's good, so they will. 25 to 16, the score here. 2-16 left to go in the first half. And that will roll out of bounds after being tapped by the Bobcats. Guy Perkins will have it. It's inbounded. Riley Passmore will handle it herself, unable to finish. She'll get the rebound, but she will go out on the baseline. It'll be Guy Perkins' ball. Sorry, Marshall ball. 25-16 the score. Two minutes to go in the first half. Knocked out of bounds. They'll say that was knocked out. My guy Perkins, so it will be Marshall's ball under their own basket. It's inbounded quickly. Blair back up, not going to have this one. Young is right there to snag it. Guy Perkins moving quickly, but that one's bobbled there by McKenna Bradford, so it'll be Marshall's ball once again after a loose pass. Peyton Morris gets it over. Blair once more, she'll go up for it, and she'll have it. 27-16 the score. 123 left to go here in the first half. Riley Passmore gets it to Jalissa Young. Young trying to get it inside, but they're all well contested and they won't be able to successfully. Marshall's ball going back the other way, just over a minute left. It's up and it's good. A good shot there by Parker Pruitt. 29-16, under a minute left. And the whistle blown. So it'll be Guy Perkins' ball. Sorry, we'll see some free throws here from number five, Riley Passmore. She'll get two. Been a game of runs. Marshall started off with a big run, got out to that 11 point lead that you were talking about. Lady Thunderbirds came back and cut the deficit. Down to at least six. Now it's been pushed back. Almost got doubled up again. So they make one. So 29-17, a 12-point game now. It'll be Marsha's, Marshall's ball. Move back down to the baseline. Kayla Blair moving it across court. Gets it over to Harris. Harris back to Blair. Blair over the top, almost a bad pass there. Looking for Parker Pruitt, finds her, gets it to Blair. Back out to Harris. It's up. That shot is no good from number 10, Izzy Harness. And the whistle blown. 
Two free throws here for number 35, Miley Harris. Four points on the game for her so far. 29-17, looking to extend their lead even more. The first one's up, and it's through easily. 30-17. And the second one will be through just as easily. So 31 to 17, your score now. 24 seconds left. Shot clock not running. That'll be just tipped out of bounds there. So it will be Guy Perkins' ball. Gets it over to number 10, Blaylock. Blaylock to number 14, Brown. To Young underneath. She'll have it. She'll go up and get it herself. A heavily contested shot there. 31-19 is how the first half will end. We're through half of the ball game here. 31-19, your score. Sterling, what have you seen so far? I've seen a lot of offensive rebounding by Marshall, and the defense has been stifling. So it's been... By getting all the offensive rebounds and containing them on defense, it's why they got this big lead in this game. They keep it up, they all coast to victory, but I look for the Thunderbirds to put a little more pressure in the second half. He's playing with a limited bench, so he's probably trying to save some energy, but he have to put, they have to step up the pressure in the second half to get back in it. Definitely. So we'll see if they can do just that when we come back right here on Lake Area Sports. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in just a bit. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and pre-approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevy GMC in Heber Springs. When it comes to the integrity of your roof, it takes a knowledgeable team to ensure a truss has been properly installed with sturdy materials that will last. Family owned and operated with over 17 years experience, the team at Knapp Trust will provide customizable premium trust installation services at a fair price. Knapp Trust prides themselves on the final product they deliver which will stand the test of time. For quality trusses built to last, contact Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 to schedule your project estimate today. Since 1954, F.L. Davis Ace has proudly served the Greer's Ferry Lake area by providing the best hardware and home improvement needs to our customers. Stop by one of our six Arkansas locations in Greer's Ferry, Heber Springs, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, or Centerton, and let us show you why we're more than just a hardware store. We have something for everyone, and you won't believe what we have to offer. Need a new mower? We've got you covered. Need it repaired? No problem. From custom paint matching to the best brands in grilling, F.L. Davis Ace has got it all. We're also home to the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, furniture, home decor, gift items, and so much more. Come by and see us today, and let us show you why F.L. Davis Ace is not your typical hardware store.
name is Margaret, and I'm a quilter, tried it, trued, and addicted. <laughs> yes, I love having my grandkids come over. Uh, there can be five or six of them sitting around hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Through the Wi-Fi, I can connect with my smartphone and save some dollars there, and also I use it for my laptop. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Welcome to the good life. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in Central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed, bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and 5-star rated customer service. Free inspection and estimates. Check us out on Facebook at Roof Tech of Heber Springs, LLC. Known as one of the best kept secrets for championship golf in Arkansas, Indian Hills Golf Resort is known for its tree-lined fairways, deep bunkers, small slope greens, and the Indian Rock Cave off number 18 fairway. Located in beautiful Fairfield Bay, Indian Hills is an 18-hole championship layout course with four sets of tees for players of all abilities to enjoy the natural surroundings. Tee times fill quickly, so call 501-884-684. 6018 to book yours today. Sutterfield Ready Mix, located in Shirley, and Sutterfield Landscaping Supplies, located in Heber Springs, are family owned and operated, offering a wide variety for all your ready mix and landscaping needs. We offer mulch, topsoil, compost, sand, gravel, landscape rock, SB2 gravel, bee stone, pea gravel, and concrete. Give us a call today at 501-723-4660 for your ready mix needs or 501-294-8494 for all your landscaping needs. Open Monday through Friday. We deliver. I know the last three years people have got accustomed to paying sticker price for a brand new vehicle. Well, it's not that way anymore at Red River Ram. If you're looking for a Ram truck, we've got heavy duty four wheel drive trucks starting at $49.5 or up to $12,000 off sticker price for a Cummins diesel. And we've got $11,000 off Ram 1500 Bighorn four wheel drive trucks. If you want the best selection and the best buying experience, make that beautiful drive right here to Heber Springs. Now during Ram Power Days. Attention Lake Area Senior Athletes. You don't want to miss out on this scholarship opportunity. Lake Area Sports will be giving out two $500 scholarships this year. One male and one female student athlete will receive a one-time $500 scholarship to be used to further your education this fall. Go to the Lake Area Sports Facebook page for more information and to submit your application. I'll tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with this service. Right away I noticed that it was like, wow, how can it be this fast? The installer came and he did just a super guy. The beauty of it is I'm getting better service, saving money. Man, you can't go wrong there. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Better service, better pricing. Welcome to the good life. Woodland Mead Park. What's that? It's a park in Fairfield Bay with two miniature golf courses, disco. Welcome back to Lake Area Sports 1A4 basketball here between the Guy Perkins Thunderbirds 
and the Marshall Bobcats. Austin Stokes alongside Sterling Sharp for the evening. 31 to 19, Bobcats lead here in Guy Perkins. Marshall quickly getting it in, attempting to, to get on the board first here in this half, but it will be Guy Perkins' ball back underneath. Not going to be good there either. That was number three, McKenna Bradford, being met hard by number 15, Blair, for the Bobcats. It's back to Blair. It's up, and it's no good. Rebounded by Jalissa Young. Young gets it over. And the whistle is blown there. We'll give you some quick first-half stats. Going to get the team stats in real quick here. For Marshall, they shot 44 0.8% from the field, 22.2% from three-point range, 100% from the line for two for two. For the Lady Thunderbirds, 41% from the field, 0% from three-point range, 60% from the free throw line. Back to you. 60% free throws. That's a pretty good statistic for them so far, something they'll look to continue into the later half of this one as they have it. 0% on threes. That's unusual through an entire first half. We'll look to see if they can change that so far and maybe knock some down from behind the line. But they'll look to go in tight for another one, and they won't get it, so it'll be going back the other way. I'll give you individual score on the next dead ball opportunity. And that one won't connect either, so it'll be Guy Perkins' ball once again. Slowly moving across the court. Jalissa Young has it, looking to find someone open, and she does find Riley Passmore. Passmore finds McKenna Bradford. The Lady Thunderbirds are not setting the screens in this motion offense here. They're just moving around, just moving side to side, and they not screening off their man. Def or woman. Definitely something they're going to need to adjust here. And they the shot clock going to run out on them. Very poor set there by the Lady Thunderbirds. Some individual scoring. Michaela Blair scored seven in the first half. Parker Pruitt scored two. Izzy Harness scored six. Audrey Blair scored ten. And Mally Harris scored uh, nine. That one's up and it's down. So a three-pointer there. For the Bobcats. Which Bobcat hit that one? You see? Didn't catch a number. I had my head down. But the Lady Thunderbird, first half scoring. Passmore with two. Bradford with six. Peyton Morris with two. And Delicia Young with eight. And so it will be number one, Peyton Morris to the line here. Her second shot is up and through. So 34 to 20, the score now. A 14 point ball game here with 535 left in the third. It's knocked underneath by Blair and she will have it. Make that a 16 point game. It's quickly going back the other way. Marshall, a chance to open the lead even more. And it will. That is Michaela Blair who knocks that one down. 38 to 20, continuing to pour it on early here in the third. Not enough motion in this offense, and they're not setting any picks against this man-to-man. -man. I'm sure going forward into the next couple games that they play, we'll see a, a totally different team than what we're seeing tonight, knocking some of those first game jitters off against a team who has been able to play a couple. Yes. Marshall playing well polished so far. Tons of turnovers by the Lady Thunderbirds too tonight. That one's up. And it's through, make that number 35. Miley Harris will bring that one in. 42 to 20 the score now. Opening this game wide up, only 20 points 
through almost three total quarters. It's going back the other way, Marshall has it. Blair at the top, she'll move underneath. Oh, in and right back out. So it will now be Guy Perkins' ball moving across the court. Riley Passmore. She'll force her way in, but knocks it out to Young. Young over the top to Blaylock. It's up and it's good. That was number three, McKenna Bradford on that one. 22-42 the score now. A 20-point game once again. Oh, and a beautiful knock there by number one, Peyton Morris. Shot is up and no good. They'll try it again to no success either. And they'll hmm. finally knock it down. Got three shots at that one. That's been the Achilles heel for them tonight. 22-point game and Miley Harris to the line to add one more. We'll see a sub. That'll be number 14, Shelby Brown, coming into this one for Peyton Morris. That one's up. Not going to be through. Young right there to find it. A good pass underneath the goal, but it'll be a collision between two T-Birds. And an off-center pass. They'll finally get it back in. They need to control the ball, but it'll be... Well, it was Marshall's ball, but it after yeah, she was tripped. <laughs> she's tripped up there. It changes hands once more. Got a wild sequence there. Almost a fantastic shot from way downtown for McKenna Bradford, unable to connect. But it will be Michaela Blair who can finish at the rim. 46 to 22, the score with 2.51 left to go here in the third. Whistle blown there. That'll be called on number one, Peyton Morris, her third foul of the night, or of this, yeah, of the night. First in this quarter for the T-Birds. Three fouls for the visiting Marshall Bobcats. Gets it to Brown. Brown right back to Blaylock. Blaylock back to Morris. Better ball movement on that set. Just couldn't finish it. We've seen the ball movement get better and better as the game has gone along. Like you said, unable to finish at the rim. And a beautiful shot there from number 15, Audrey Blair. The Blair sisters are heating up in this one. Both McKenna and Audrey. 49 to 22, your score after that big three-pointer, making putting this game wide open, nearing a 30-point ball game. That one dribbled out of bounds there by Guy Perkins. Sorry, knocked out of bounds by Marshall. Yeah, these girls just got off the volleyball court, a lot of them from the Thunderbirds. That one gonna be knocked out once more. It will remain Guy Perkins' ball. 2.06 left here in the third, 49-22 the score. Whistle blown there after a nasty collision. Yeah. You know, at these small, smaller classification schools, they have a lot of the same kids playing multiple sports. You'll even see that up into 3A. I know it was like that when I was in high school. A lot of our best athletes played just about every sport you, they offered. Right. Kenna Bradford to the line. That one up. Not going to be good. But she'll have another one. Still looks to be a little shaken up after taking that fall under the goal. She wasn't able to catch herself at all in that fall. She went straight to the floor. That one's up and through. 20... 49 to 23 the score now. It will be Marshall's balls. It's up. Not going to be good there on the shot from Miley Harris. Guy Perkins quickly moving down court. 
Good pass. Good look there by Bradford. It's up and not going to be through. That one won't either. Their third chance. And that will be knocked out of bounds. It will be Guy Perkins' ball, though, so it will remain in their half of the court. J.C. Blaylock set to inbound. Good rebound in there by the Lady Thunderbirds. And almost a good pass to Shelby Brown, unable to find her open. They'll move back underneath. It's up. Whistle blown, so the shot will not fall in. A minute 20 left. Six fouls for Marshall. So every free throw opportunity will be for two. The Lady Thunderbirds are not doing a lot better on the offensive boards here in the second half. Looks like a completely different team than the one that started this game. A lot more communication inside the paint between all of these ladies. That one's up. Not going to fall through either. They'll go back and earn it themselves. 25 to 49 the score now. It will be the Bobcats ball moving back across the court. It's up. Not going to be good. Just a little off there from Izzy Harness, number 10. But it's right back up. Just short. Knocked out. Harris has it, back underneath. And the whistle blown, so that'll be number 10, Izzy Harness to the line. Good balance going here from the Bobcats, Lady Bobcats. That one's up and it's through. 50 to 25 the score now. My stats are very much unofficial, but I, I, I don't have them missing a the free throw tonight, the Bobcats. Didn't miss that one either. 51 to 25, shooting fantastic from the charity line. Guy Perkins has it underneath. Looking to go old school there, but not going to be able to find it. That shot's no good. It will remain Guy Perkins' ball, however. So they'll earn another chance. 30 seconds left, 20 on the shot clock. Not much difference between them. Guy Perkins looking to add some more points on before the fourth, and they will. 27 to 51 the score. Good drive there by McKenna Bradford. Ready to be aggressive. That shot is up, but some good defense from Guy Perkins will keep them from finding net. Going back the other way, Shelby Brown. And no good on the shot. And the third, had three quarters have come and gone now. We head into the fourth. Your score, 51-27. Bobcats lead. We'll be right back. Shuffleboard, volleyball, and basketball courts. And that's all in Fairfield Bay? Yep. I guess we can go check it out. Woodland Mead Park is located on Dave Creek Parkway in Fairfield Bay. Join you in the fourth. 
Guy Perkins has it. 57 to 21 the score here at the start of the final set for both teams. And the whistle blown. Shot not gonna be good. So it will be number one, Peyton Morris to the line here for the T-Birds. It's up, and that shot is through clean. 51 to 28 the score, looking to make it 51 to 29. That one's through as well. 51 to 29 the score here. Seven and a half left to go in the ball game. That one's up and no good. Rebounded there by Jalissa Young, but stolen away from her by the Bobcats. They set the offense. Looks to find someone open. Blair up with it, but not going to be good from the Blair sisters. And looks like she will head to the line. Michaela Blair set to take her free throws. 7.22 left, 51 to 29. One foul a pop for both teams. First one's up, no good. That one won't fall in either, missing their first free throws of the night. Guy Perkins quickly moving the ball down as the whistle is blown. The shot not going to come through. They got the ball up to a quick in transition. Very quick. Just off the iron for Peyton Morris. Peyton Morris to the line. Sets for the first. It's up. Not going to be through. A little to the left. And the second one is through. Nothing but net here. 31 point ball game now. Fifty-one thirty-two. the score. That one's knocked through in a big way there. 54-32 the score. Good pass by Bale out there. Great ball movement by Guy Perkins, just unable to get it through. Yes. That'll be back to the other end of the court there for the Bobcats. Lady Bobcats. It'll be Guy Perkins' ball. The Lady Thunderbirds have it here. 640 left in regulation. As they get ready to move it across. Young has it, looks for someone open. It's up. Not going to be good as it falls right back out. An offensive board opportunity there, but they won't capitalize, so it will be the Bobcats' ball once more. Good ball movement on that offensive set by the Lady Thunderbirds. Young has the board there. And they're going to move the ball well again, minus the pass. 6.06 left to go here as the game clock stops ticking. It'll be the Bobcat ball. 32-point game. Sorry, 22-point game. Parker Pruitt inbounds it here for Audrey Blair. Miley Harris charging up, back out to Blair. Blair underneath. Great drive there by Blair. She'll have it easily, 56 to 32. The score now, 541 left. It's underneath, not gonna be able to finish this time either. So yet another trip down to their side of the court with nothing to show. Harris has it on the outside. It's up and it will not fall in. 
Guy Perkins moving back down to their side of the court. Morris, and it'll fall in. Peyton Morris on the shot with that one. 56-34 the score. Guy Perkins will have it. Parker Pruitt inbounds to Miley Harris. Going back the other way, Shelby Brown. Well contested. Three ladies on her. It's up. And it will Death fall in. Ball. Good hustle, good move there by Shelby. Fantastic way to get some points on the board. A 20-point game even. A chance for them to narrow it down with 440 left. Blaylock moving quickly out to Morris. It's up. No good, but the board is grabbed. It's loose. Remains Guy Perkins' ball, and it's through. 39 to 56 after the three-pointer is good. The first three-pointer to go down of the season, according to me. <laughs> <laughs> the only statistician that matters in this one. Quickly snagged there by Guy Perkins. It's tossed back to Young going the other way. Harris the only one to beat, and the whistle's blown, so Young will take a trip to the free throw line. Late Thunderbirds playing with a little more energy, a little more spunk. Seem to, have, seem to have gotten a game plan together coming into the later half of this one. First one's up, and it's through. 56 to 40, the score, looking to continue to pour it on. 16 point ball game, looking to make it a 15 point ball game. Young set to take her second free throw. It's up, not gonna be through, but rebounded quickly there by Guy Perkins, kicked out of bounds. It'll be the Marshall Bobcats ball. Four minutes and two seconds left. 16 point game, looking to extend their lead even more, make it harder to work back from for Guy Perkins. Great ball movement, getting it into the paint. Outside, it's up. Not gonna be good off the backboard. Young underneath to find the rebound. Quickly moving, great ball movement. It's up, she'll handle it herself at the rim, 56-42. You can see Young real good at using her body to shit off the defenders. And that shot is not going to find it. Guy Perkins ball once more moving back the other way. A pass, but there's no one over there open. So it will be Marshall's ball. The coach for Guy Perkins asking for an explanation maybe on why the foul wasn't called. And a timeout will be called by Guy Perkins. So we'll take it with him. 319 left in this one. 56 to 42, your score. We'll be right back.
we are ready to resume play. 3-12 left to go. The Bobcats not able to find the net there. Going the other way for Guy Perkins. To the corner. Back over to the top. Underneath for Morris. Contested there by Marshall. To the top of the key. Inside. Oh, nice rip move there by Morris. And it's through. And she will go to the line for a chance to earn even more. I was about to say how she needed to do a better job of sealing, sealing, sealing her defender off when she posted up. But when she got it ball back, and she ripped through the defender and went straight to the hole. Great move there by Peyton Morris. And she will get a chance to make it three points. She sets. It's up. Not going to be good, and the rebound is grabbed by the Bobcats. Going the other way, 2.48 left in this one. It's underneath, back outside. Blair has it, moves it in. It's up. It's through. 58-44 the score now. Great inside-out action there by the Bob Lady Bobcats. Good seal off there by... Blair, Michaela, and a good dish. The T-Birds working back from what was a, an 11-point game, making it a six-point game, back to almost a 30-point game, now narrowing it down as that one's up and through, 44 to 60, a 16-point game now. You see who scored that one? I want to say that was going to be Michaela Blair. We knocked that one through. It's back down to their side. This one for the other Blair sister, and Audrey Blair will knock that one in as well. 62 to 44, your score now. Opening this one back up in the later stages of the game. Guy Perkins will have it. Every time the Lady Thunderbirds make a little run, the Lady Bobcats push it back up. Always have an answer for Guy Perkins catching up to him, and a good way for them to extend it. Whistle blown here, 138 left to go. Six fouls in this quarter for the Bobcats, only one for the T-Birds. The late Bobcats have been a lot more aggressive on the defensive end. That's why it's lopsided like that. And you know, when you're up 20 points, you don't hear the crowd with the lopsided fouls complaining. Definitely. <laughs> a lot of silence from them. I'm glad you mentioned that because come to think, I've never seen it so lopsided and not to hear not one complaint from the yeah. team. But again, they up 20-something. And they'll narrow it down a little bit. 62-46 the score now. Guy Perkins quickly making a shot off the rebound. Yeah, good move there by Peyton Moore. She's still out there hustling. A contender start to finish. As the Bobcats have it, it's up, no good. Rebounded by Bryant, making her first appearance of the night late in this one. Down for Brown. Unable to find the pass. So that one will be knocked out, and it will be the Bobcats' ball once more. 62-46 a minute, 17 left. Time to start conserving clock, wouldn't you think? Yes, get this, get, take your win and get on out of here and get ready for Friday night or Thursday night, whatever your next game is. And they'll start pressing. Good ball movement, 18 left, under a minute to go in the game. It's up, no good. Shot clock resets, it's going the other way, 52 seconds left. Underneath, not gonna be good on that shot. Board gonna be attempted to be grabbed by Shelby Brown, but it won't. It'll be going the other way for Marshall and they will find it. 64 to 46 the score now. Inbounded and we are ready to go. 35 seconds on the game clock, 27 on the shot clock. Bryant has it, it's passed out over the top to Blaylock. Back to Bryant, looking to find someone open, finds Morris. Morris underneath, it's up, not gonna be good. 
very well contested there. Great defense from start to finish here for Marshall. Yes, it has been. No careless mistakes on the defensive side of the ball for the Lady Bobcats. And still stayed out of the bonus with the aggressive play. It's up. Not going to be good. Ten seconds remain in this one. Whistle blown. Jump ball. This will be in favor of Marshall, so it'll be their ball with just eight seconds left. They'll just want to hang on to it. And they will do just that. Knocked out of bounds, though, so it will remain Marshall's ball. Bryant getting a hand on it last. It's over the top. And so that will do it in this one. The first game of the night, 64 to 46. The T-Bird boys are going to look to have a different fortune than their female counterparts when we come back. We'll get a recap of the scoring breakdown. Great game through and through from both teams. Showing great athleticism on both sides of the ball as we get set and ready for the boys game soon to follow. And a quick thank you from our sponsors. Petty Jean Fiber, FL Davis, Nap Trust, Cowboy Chevrolet, the good people at American Safeguard Insurance, Red River Dodge, Sutterfield Ready Mix, Sutterfield Landscaping Services, Community Water System, Cutting Edge Fabrication, Roof Tack, Carrie's Hair Shack, and Happy Hanger. Trying to tally up these tallies real fast for you. With the team statistics and the individual scoring, very much unofficial. For the Bobcats, of Marshall, the ladies. From the field, they shot 47%. From three-point range, they shot 37.5%. From the free throw line, they shot 66.6%. The Lady Thunderbirds shot 41.8% from the field, 20% from the three-point line, and 57.1% from the line. Some individual scoring here. Michaela Bear, uh, Blair, excuse me. Had 14. Parker Pruitt with two. Izzy Harness with a 311. Ragland had four. Audrey Blair at 12. 15, 18, 20, 22, a game high. And Mally Harris had 6, 9, 11. For the Lady Thunderbirds, McKenna Bradford at 8, 10, 12, 14, 17. To lead the Lady Thunderbirds. Peyton Morris had eight. Delicia Young dropped in 11. Those were the top scores for tonight. And there you have it for the girls' matchup. We'll be right back after a brief break with boys action right here on Lake Area Sports, Austin Stokes and Sterling Sharp. Don't go anywhere. 
one epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petty Jean Fiber, game-changing internet. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and free approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboy Chevy GMC in Heber Springs. When it comes to the integrity of your roof, it takes a knowledgeable team to ensure a truss has been properly installed with sturdy materials that will last. Family owned and operated with over 17 years experience, the team at Knapp Trust will provide customizable premium trust installation services at a fair price. Knapp Trust prides themselves on the final product they deliver which will stand the test of time. For quality trusses built to last, contact Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 to schedule your project estimate today. Since 1954, F.L. Davis Ace has proudly served the Greer's Ferry Lake area by providing the best hardware and home improvement needs to our customers. Stop by one of our six Arkansas locations in Greer's Ferry, Heber Springs, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, or Centerton, and let us show you why we're more than just a hardware store. We have something for everyone, and you won't believe what we have to offer. Need a new mower? We've got you covered. Need it repaired? No problem. From custom paint matching to the best brands in grilling, F.L. Davis Ace has got it all. We're also home to the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, furniture, home decor, gift items, and so much more. Come by and see us today, and let us show you why F.L. Davis Ace is not your typical hardware store. My name is Margaret and I'm a quilter. Tried it, trued, and addicted. <laughs> yes, I love having my grandkids come over. Uh, there can be five or six of them sitting around hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Through the Wi-Fi I can connect with my smartphone and save some dollars there and also I use it for my laptop. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Welcome to the good life. American Safeguard Insurance. Our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in Central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed, 
bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and five-star rated customer service, free inspection, and estimates. Check us out on Facebook at Rooftech of Heber Springs, LLC. Known as one of the best-kept secrets for championship golf in Arkansas, Indian Hills Golf Resort is known for its tree-lined fairways, deep bunkers, small sloped greens, and the Indian Rock Cave off number 18 fairway. Located in beautiful Fairfield Bay, Indian Hills is an 18-hole championship layout course with four sets of tees for players of all abilities to enjoy the natural surroundings. Tee times fill quickly, so call 501-884-6018 to book yours today. Sutterfield Ready Mix, located in Shirley, and Sutterfield Landscaping Supplies, located in Heber Springs, are family-owned and Well, we are ready to go with the second game here for you. It'll be the Bobcats and the T-Birds. As we get the starting lineups here. First, the starting lineup for the Marshall Bobcats. It'll be number zero, Peyton DePriest. Number 25, Jesse Ragland. Number three, Bryce Griffin. It'll be number five, Cole Harness. Number 12, Dylan Tyler. Number one, Jeremiah Beckwith. And number 11, Fredico Principal. Line up for Guy Perkins T-Birds. It'll be number two, Lamb. Number five, Fisher. Number 15, Bryant. Number 24, Lamb. And number three, Harnington. Those are the Let's play ball. And with that, we are set and ready to go. Here in the first, not a very tight girls game prior to this one. A big deficit wrapped up. We are set and ready here at center court. The marquee event of the night. It's up and it'll be Marshall's ball to start things off. Peyton Dupriest will have it first as he presses in. It's up quickly. Not through there by number one, Mason Gregg. And the whistle blown there. It'll be the Bobcats ball. Moving it back in quickly. Pressing in from the corner. Very well defended by Guy Perkins, but it's up and through. So the first points of the game here go to the Bobcats. That was the Priest. That was Mr. Dupreece. And that one is knocked down as well. So four to nothing here quickly. Who's that? I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to see. I was getting my scoreboard right. Sorry about that. All good. It's heading back the other way. It's up. Not going to be through. But the board is grabbed, so very quickly it's six to nothing. That made by number 25, Mr. Jesse Ragland. And that one's gonna be knocked down for three by the T-Birds, so now a six to three game. A fast paced ball game so far. Six and a half left, that one's up. It'll be knocked out of bounds by number It'll be the Bobcats ball set to inbound. 
over the top and it'll be met in the middle there by the T-Birds. Moving it down the court quickly, but it's knocked out of bounds and they will say that was knocked out there once again by Mr. Ragland. So it will be the Thunderbirds ball. 6-16 left. Bobcats lead 6-3. Moving around the court well into the corner. It's up. Not going to be through as it'll bounce right back out, catching all iron there. Down the court for the Bobcats. Moving the ball well. That's up as well. And it'll be through. Jesse Raglin able to finish at the rim. 8-3 to three the score now. Moved outside. And it's quickly stolen back. He's up. Go! Oh! Down with a beautiful dunk. Make it 10 to 3 after the slam there by the Bobcats. And Guy Perkins answers with one of their own. 10 to 5 the score now in a timeout called. And what a first quarter we have had so far. Five and a half to go. 10 to 5 the score. We'll take this time out with them. We'll be right back. Operated, offering a wide variety for all your ready mix and landscaping needs. We offer mulch, topsoil, compost, sand, gravel, landscape rock, SB2 gravel, B-stone, pea gravel, and concrete. Give us a call today at 501 723 4660 for your ready mix needs are 501 294 8494 for all your landscaping needs. Open Monday through Friday. And we are back after the timeout. It'll be the Bobcats ball after the big dunk there from number zero, Peyton Dupree. He gets it into the corner, back over to the top of the key, to the far side, almost out of bounds, reins it back in easily. It's up, not gonna be good there, knocked out of bounds. They will say this one will go in the favor of the Thunderbirds. Quickly moving down, DePriest has it again. Handling it himself and the whistle blown and he will take a trip to the line. This has been the Peyton Dupree show so far. He will be set up for two free throws here. Sinks the first one easily. Make it 11 to five your score here. 4.54 left to go in the first. He's ready for his second. Sets, it's up. And it's through as well. All net there, 12 to five the score. 4.50 left, Guy Perkins has it. Struggling to get it across half court. They get it underneath, it's up. Not gonna be good, but the offensive board is grabbed there by number two. 12 to seven the score. Number zero has it, it's up and it's in, so they'll answer with one of their own, 14 to seven the score. T-Birds getting doubled up early on as that's knocked out of bounds. And they will say that'll be Guy Perkins' ball. That inbound will be deflected, so it will be Marshall Ball moving down the court quickly. It's up and it's through. Whistle blown though, so he'll get a trip to the line. 16 to seven, looking to make it 17 to seven here quickly, jumping to a fast 10 point lead halfway through the first. Marshall to the line, sets, it's up. It won't be through. They'll be content with two, a nine-point game. Guy Perkins has it. And, and they will call that for traveling as the whistle is blown, so it will be the Bobcat ball. 418 left, 16 to seven the score. Dupree gets it into Ragland. 
Back out to Dupree. Kicks it across the floor. It's back underneath for Ragland. Marshall going to look to get past this tough defense as they have before. That's up. Not going to be good. Dupree misses with that one. Just under four minutes to go. Guy Perkins has it. It's out of bounds and off the back wall. Good strong move there by Thunderbirds. Well, they take it to the rack. And good job of comp keeping their composure after the, the Priest with that monster throw down and getting a lot of steals. And like you said earlier, he really has took control of this game in the early going. Red of the storm and work your way back in it. Absolutely. It'll be Haley to the line. Makes his first 16 to 8 the score. Won't sink the second one, so they'll have to be content with two. Moving back down the court. Dupree has it. Gets it over the top. It's up. Now, and it's through. A three-pointer for the Bobcats there. 19-8 the score now. 3.55 left to go in the first. Quickly finding their men open. Guy Perkins has it. It's up. The two-pointer, sorry, the three-pointer is knocked down there. 19 to 11 the score now. Bobcats have it. Dupree with it. He'll look to get around his defender. He'll find Raglan open in the paint, and it's up and through. A 10-point game now as they've doubled them up. Sorry, haven't doubled them up. 10 points, 11 to 21 the score. Whistle blown there. That foul will be called on number 12. 317 left to go in the first. Dylan Tyler on the receiving end of that call. Guy Perkins has it. Gets it inbound quickly. Lamb has it. He struggles to keep hold of it. Fisher will rein it in. It's up, and it's through. That was number one on that one. Mason Gregg throwing it down. 23 to 11 the score. Guy, Perkin, or Guy Perkins maintains the ball, able to get it back. Oh, and he's tripped up looking to finish there. It will be Guy Perkins' ball as they prepare to inbound. It'll be Lamb. He gets it over to number 15, Bryant. Bryant moves around. What a He's move. Up, great movement. I agree. Unable to finish there was Haley, but right behind him was number two, Lamb, and so they will tack Two more on, it's now a 10 point game. Thirteen to 23 the score, the T-Birds trailing in this one. The Bobcats a commanding lead. So that'll be Harrington who subs in for Bryant here for Guy Perkins. It's out. Marshall has it, looking to move in. It's up and it's no good. So it will be rebounded there by Lamb. Lamb will find Hicks. Hicks will find number three, Harrington. He's up, not gonna be good as the whistle is blown. And so Harrington will get a trip to the line. A little banged up, a nasty fall for him there. Twenty-three to fifteen, the score in this one. Harrington gets the ball. He's set. It's up and it's through. Twenty-three to sixteen, the score now. 
They begin to claw their way back, but Dupree has something to say, and it's not going to be good. It's up again, but Marshall unable to finish, and Dupree will come in and handle it himself, 25 to 16. Make it a nine-point ball game. It's Marshall's ball going the other way. It's up. Little too much on that one. They'll say that one got out of bounds. So it will be Dupree set to inbound this one. Back to the corner, Dupree looking under to finish. He won't, he'll kick it back out, it's up and it will be no good there. That was number 22. Fair and tell on that shot. Number 24, Lamb will have it, it's up and it'll be through. That'll be Haley on the big three for Guy Perkins. 19 to 25 the score now. A six point game, Dupree has it. Calling out commands to his teammates. Gets it into the corner. It's back over the top to Dupree. He'll go up. They won't get the call as he looked to the ref to find it. They'll say that was knocked out there on Guy Perkins. It's up. That won't be good either. The shot there. But it's quickly. Guy Perkins ball. Nope. Scratch that quickly. The Bobcats ball. They move underneath, knocked out there off of the shoulder of number 24 to Lamb. And a fast moving game here, 51.3 left in the first. What's happening, the ball is stuck? Looks like it might have snuck under the bleachers, but they'll have it, and we're set to resume play. Dupree inbounds. Quickly getting a shot off is Marshall. And so they'll say that one was knocked out on Guy Perkins. And the other, other Fisher came in and overruled it. Didn't look it's like white ball. Some confusion here. It's white ball. That's what I thought as well. So that. Message will be communicated to the two teams waiting, and it will be white ball just like that. Lamb set to inbound. He gets it to his brother. Oh, bad pass. Court, a terrible pass placement. That one's up, and it's through for the Bobcats. 27 to 19, the score now, but Guy Perkins moves quickly. He tries to get the pass off, knocked back into his own hands. Gets it to Lamb. Lamb into the corner for Harrington. Harrington struggles, reining it in. It's up. That shot is through, a beautiful three, not down there. 27-22, 16 seconds left. Dupree has it. Struggles to find an open man. It's right back to him. No, it's, it's, it's still his ball. It's up and it's through. 7.3 seconds left to go, and they knock down another one. 22-29, your score here. 7.3 seconds, and Dupree will go to the line. Dupree is having a monster first quarter here. A if, high scoring first quarter for both teams. If Dupree can maintain this success through the rest of the season, you have to imagine that he can win a lot of games for this club as that one's gonna be in as well. So 30 to 22, the score as they've opened this one up, an eight point game, gonna look to add some more and they'll get it done. A 10 point game as time expires here in the first. The Bobcats lead 32 to 22. Sterling after a quarter of has gone by very quickly, high intensity basketball. What have you noticed? The pace is quick and what's biting the T-Birds right now is those turnovers. Too many turnovers is why they down by 10 points. Surprised that they have been shooting the ball as well as they have. I didn't expect this T-Bird team to shoot so well from, from beyond the arc. But they got to pick up their defense. They didn't. They, he has help, but right now you got to do something to contain Dupree right now because he's running away with real quickly. I think he has going to count up real fast. I have to count it out loud. 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 already. Wow. And that's unofficial. I mean, he may have. <laughs> I've been putting my head up and down, you know, marking. He may have had a basket when I had my head down, but right now he's been the catalyst for the Bobcats. It's been all between Dupree and the Lamb brothers so far in this one. As they have strung together a lot of points for both for this uh, Bobcat squad. The Bobcats put up 22 shots in that first quarter, if that tells you anything. I mean, that's the only place to take 88 shots. That's, I mean, that's <laughs> in just a first quarter, I mean, like you said, this is an incredibly high scoring game for the first quarter. And I don't think either of these teams plan to slow down anytime soon. If they have anything left in the tank for the first part of this second quarter, we should be in for a very high scoring ball game. Somebody's going to have to play some defense at some point. Definitely. Somebody, one of these teams is going to have to step it up in a big way on defense to keep this game from getting out of hand on either side. We're ready to go. Guy Perkins has it. It's inbounded. Lamb will seek an open man. He finds Bryant, who's coming back into this one. Bryant gets it over to Fisher. Fisher to Lamb. Lamb to Harrington. Back to Lamb. To Harrington, he's up. Not going to be good. Connects on the iron, but it remains their ball after the board is grabbed. That one will be through, but the whistle is blown, but the shot will not count. First foul of the quarter in just the first 30 seconds here. It'll be Guy Perkins' ball. They have it. He's underneath. That was number one, Haley, unable to finish there. Going back the other way, it's up and it's good. Just like that, 34 to 22. Guy Perkins ball once more, but it's stolen by Ragland. Another turnover. That gotta be a shot. Wow, he turned sideways. He was there, he was there in time, but he turned sideways. If he could have stayed squared up, I think he could have got the call. Because I think he, he beat him to the spot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely beat him to the spot. Just body placement kind of got him there. So Dupree will head to the line. We know what a shooter he is, so expecting to see him make these. He sinks the first one easily. 35 to 22 the score now. 13-point ball game as he'll get ready to take his next one as Bryant heads out. And the second Lamb brother heads back in. It's hard for a young sophomore to take that, to take that first senior high charge. <laughs> Thirty-six to twenty-two, the score in this one. Now, quickly come back and answer with. That one is it's 39 to 22 now. Fisher has it. He finds Harrington. Harrington to the corner for Lamb. Lamb trudging through the mud on that one, and it will be knocked out of bounds, but they'll say that one of the Bobcats got their hands on it first. Scoreboard changed on me. 39 to 20. 39 to 22, it appears, is still your score. Quick glitch on the scoreboard. And with the whistle being blown, that'll be Lamb heading to the line. He will get two shots. 618 left to go in the first half. It's up. Not going to be in as it will roll right back out. Some substitutions on both sides here. As he gets ready for his second shot, gets the ball, sets the feet. 
Looks, shoots, it's through. 23 to 39 the score now as Marshall has the ball moving back across the court. Raglan goes down hard and he will toss the ball out of bounds in front of him. So it will be Dupree who will inbound this one. He has it, presses inside. Great ball movement there. Beautiful sequence by the Bobcats, and they're going to have that one 41 to 23 now. Going the other way is Fisher, but quickly stolen by Dupree. One man to beat. He'll handle it himself as they'll tack on just a couple more. 43 to 23, a 20 point game with 5.43 left in this one. Guy Perkins has it, loose ball. It is reclaimed here by the Bobcats. Back to the pre, and he'll add some more on. Raglan with the lob there. Over the top to Dupree, 45 to 23, your score. A timeout is called, and we'll take it with them. We'll be right back after this on Lake Area Sports. We deliver. I know the last three years, people have got accustomed to paying sticker price for a brand new vehicle. Well, it's not that way anymore at Red River Ram. If you're looking for a Ram truck, we've got heavy duty four wheel drive trucks starting at $49.5 or up to $12,000 off sticker price for a Cummins diesel. And we've got $11,000 off Ram 1500 Bighorn four wheel drive trucks. If you want the best selection and the best buying experience, make that beautiful drive right here to Heber Springs. Now during Ram Power Days, Attention Lake Area Senior Athletes, you don't want to miss out on this scholarship opportunity. Lake Area Sports will be giving out two $500 scholarships this year. One male and one female student athlete will receive a one-time $500 scholarship to be used to further your education this fall. Go to the Lake Area Sports Facebook page for more information and to submit your application. We are back and ready to I'll go tell you what, here. I don't think it can go wrong with this service. It'll be right kicked away, up by Hicks, it was but quickly like, given back to wow, Will Lamb. Lamb trying to find someone open, and he, and he can't. Oh, Dupree has it. Guy. I thought we were going to see him go up and slam another one down, but yeah. deciding to money, spread the wealth man, a little bit. 47 to 23 to score now. Oh, here we go. He's going to do it. Yes, he will. Make it the second slam of the night for Dupree as he will have that one easily. And another timeout is taken and a good idea to take a timeout right there. If you're the T-Birds, you have to do something to hold Dupree right now. If you're in that huddle here, Sterling, what are you telling your guys if you're with the Thunderbirds? We have to take care of the basketball and we can't come over here and pick the ball up right here at the half court line and get trapped. Try to keep that ball in the middle. Attack the middle and then go. And once you get out of this trap right here, get that ball to the middle, and you you ought to have the numbers. And then attack. But right now, you got to take care of the ball somehow. And I know it's hard. Especially against such an aggressive, fast-paced team like Marshall. T-Birds somewhat struggling to keep up. 49 to 23, five minutes left to go in the second. They tried to get it to him, they just couldn't get it there. Oh, and they were trying to go with the alley-oop, but the pass a little off center, and he'll throw it right back into him there. That was Haley trying to save it from going too far out, and he'll bounce it off Dupree. So it will be Guy Perkins' ball. Lamb inbounds it to Haley, who gives it right back to Dupree, gives it back to Haley. It's, oh, and it's stolen by Dupree, and the whistle is blown. Not a bad foul, because we know what was going to happen. Knew exactly what was going to happen if he got free in the paint like that. But Dupree will inbound it here. He will look to find his teammate number one, Mason Gregg. Gregg has it. Begins the press. Gets it to number three. Over to 22, back to Greg, to Dupree. 
underneath for Raglan. He'll have it, and it's through. 51 to 23, the score now. 424 left to go in the first half. You got to attack. Attack the basket. Now you go. And so they will knock one down, 25 to 51. Got caught in kind of a bad way there with your back to the goal, but able to turn it around. Dupree looking to answer, and he won't be able to. The board grabbed there. Uh, uh, he didn't want to challenge Dupree down there, but you got to play the game. It's up. Harrington won't have it. Rebounded by Lamb. He won't be able to sink it in either, so it'll be Raglan heading the other way. Gets it to Dupree. Back to Raglan. The big man will be able to finish 53-25. to Guy Perkins has it on their side of the court. Lamb to Harrington. Harrington trying his luck once more. Not going to find that one either. Same shot selection from the same location as last time. Unable to hit either of them. That one's up. Great contestion there from the T-Birds. Let the whistle blown. That foul called on number 22. Farintel. Guy Perkins has it. Three minutes left to go in the first half. Playing a little bit more aggressive. Harrington has it. Kicks it over to Lamb. Lamb gets it to Hicks. Back over to Harrington. To Lamb. Up, not going to be through. Will Lamb on the attempted shot there. Dupree up, and it's through. A great way to finish at the rim. Playing aggressive basketball so far. They don't have an answer for him. Lamb has it at the top of the key. Trades places with Montgomery. And an offline pass attempting to find Haley, but he won't be able to. I have Dupree with 23. Wow. Right now. 23 points through just the first half, not even all the way through the second quarter as he might try and add some more on to that here. Maybe on the way to a very big point total for him. Gets the ball over quickly, looking to find someone open for two. Not going to be good. The board is grabbed. Dupree off the court here, giving him some time off before the second. That one's through with ease. A three-pointer there, 58 to 25. A 32-point game, 33-point game. Bryant has it, gets it to Harrington. Harrington to Thomas Lamb. Lamb all the way across to Bryant. Whistle blown there. Looks like one of the Bobcats might have caught the arm there. A minute and a half left to go here in the first. 58-29, 58-25 the score. Hicks will have it. He tries to pass over the top to Pate, but he won't get it in. So it will be the Bobcats finishing. No problem there. Another turnover for the Thunderbirds. 60-25 the score. Tried to toss that one up, a good behind the back pass, but to no avail. Bryant has it, 55 seconds left in the first. 28 on the shot clock, but it is reclaimed by the Bobcats. They'll have it going the other way, 46 seconds left, 30 on the clock. It's up, and it's through, a wow. big shot there. 
from the Bobcats, and it's going the other way. That was number three, Bryce Griffin on the big three. 61 to 25 the score. It's up, and it's good. A three-pointer of his own from Fisher. 61 to 28 the score now. Going the other way after the missed shot. And the whistle blown. 5.2 seconds left, 61 for the Bobcats, 28 for the T-Birds. It's up. Not going to be good as time expires here in the first half of play. 61 to 28 the score. A big first half for Dupree. Point totals coming shortly. While we wait on that, we'll take a moment to thank our sponsors of the night. We thank Petty Jean Fiber, FL Davis, Nat Truss, Cowboy Chevrolet, American Safeguard, Red River, Sutterfield Ready Mix, Sutterfield Landscaping Supplies, Community Water Systems, Cutting Edge Fabrication, Roof Tech, Carrie's Hair Shack, and Happy Hanger. got some team totals, uh, shooting percentages. We gathering up the individual totals at the scores table right now. But Marshall from the field, and a lot of this is based off their defensive pressure, getting turnovers. It's a blistering percentage. <laughs> they had 68.5% from the field. Three from nine from three-point range for 33%. From the line, they're four for five for 80%. The Thunderbirds from the field, not bad, a 44.4% from the field, 33% from three-point range, and from the line, 33%. And there you have it, your totals for the first half of play. Awaiting the individual scores, we'll have those for you when we come back in the second half here in about five minutes, we'll be right back. 99, Petty Jean Fiber. Better service, better pricing. Welcome to The Good Life. Park. What's that? 
It's a park in Fairfield Bay with two miniature golf courses, disc golf, shuffleboard, volleyball, and basketball courts. And that's all in Fairfield Bay? Yep. I guess we can go check it out. Woodland Mead Park is located on Dave Creek Parkway in Fairfield Bay. One epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petty Jean Fiber. Game changing internet. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and free approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevy GMC in Heber Springs. When it comes to the integrity of your roof, it takes a knowledgeable team to ensure a truss has been properly installed with sturdy materials that will last. Family owned and operated with over 17 years experience, the team at Knapp Trust will provide customizable premium trust installation services at a fair price. Knapp Trust prides themselves on the final product they deliver which will stand the test of time. For quality trusses built to We rejoin you here in the second half, top of the third quarter. Currently the Bobcats a commanding lead in a dynamite performance. From number zero Dupree so far, two slams and a whole number of points. Good defense there. He has 23 on the night. 23 out of their 61 points. He almost accounts for half of what his team has put up, and that goes for points, effort, hustle, all-around great basketball player. Bryant steals that one away from Raglan. It's going back the other way. Defense! 
Gets it over to Lamb. That ball did everything but go in the basket. About halfway down and came back out. So it will be the Bobcats ball once more. And that one's through easy for Dupree, so add three more to his total. It's 64 to seven or to 28. And quickly stolen. He's gonna go down and he'll he gonna rise up. up. And oh. another one. His third of the night. 28. As he is tied to Thunderbirds by himself. It's up. It's through a good three-pointer there from number five, Fisher. Mr. Fisher, I think that's his third three from the night. But it will be the Bobcats answering with one of their own. Sixty-eight to thirty-one, the score. Raglan looking to finish big at the rim, going back the other way. Harrington has it. Won't be able to do anything with it. Great defense here from the Bobcats. As this will be going the other way now, Raglan has it. Passes it to Dupree, almost a bad pass, but it's up and it's through. 31. And he is remaining neck and neck with the entire T-Birds offense here. 71 to 31, your score, a 40 point game. Keep the ball moving. Big pass to Lamb. Lamb gets it into his brother. It's up. Not going to be through. Moving back the other way. It's up. That shot is in. So another three-pointer for the Bobcats. 74 to 31 here. Lamb in the corner. Not a great pass decision, trying to move it all the way across yes. the floor. One of the cardinal rules. And so it will be the Bobcats who are able to capitalize and get two off of the mistake from Guy Perkins, 76 to 31. As it will be Guy Perkins' ball, Lamb will be set to inbound here for Haley. Haley, sorry. I think the preach will be done and his total will be 31 for the night. 31 points in two and a half quarters are incredible numbers. Something he's going to look to build on as the season continues. And if he's done for the night, that sure will make it a lot easier for Guy Perkins to maybe find some openings and get make their way to the basket here. They have not really been able to do that so far tonight. Going to need to change it up here as it is the Bobcats ball moving back across half court. Yeah, looking. Got to compete. Got to keep competing. Almost being knocked out of bounds, but the shot no good. Bryant for Guy Perkins will have it going back the other way. Gets it to Lamb. It's up. And it's through. A big three there. 34 now for the T-Birds. 76 to 34 the score. 409 left in the third. It's up. Not going to be good off the side of the glass as that one will get out of bounds. So it will be Guy Perkins ball as they'll say the Bobcats had a finger on it last. Haley inbounds to Lamb. Lamb presses across court. Finds Bryant open. Bryant moving the ball well. Finds Haley to Harrington. Another cross-court pass. Evan made it somehow. Just by the skin of his teeth. He'll make the Haley will make the shot, but the whistle is blown, so he'll get a chance to go to the line. A 40-point game even now. 76 to 36. With 342 left. It's up. It's good. So 39-point game here. 
37 to 76, your score here. 338 left. That one will be out of bounds on the pass for looking to find number three, Bryce Griffin, open, but he won't be able to. Now here's a chance for the Thunderbirds to cut into this lead and, and keep competing. Halley up. Not going to be good. Bounces off the backboard. It's Bryce Griffin going all the way. And the board is snagged there by number 12, Dylan Tyler. 78 to 37. Bryant has it, finds Harrington. Harrington gets it to Lamb. Lamb pressing in. He'll try and go up for it, and he'll get it. But the whistle is blown. 39 points now for the T-Birds. As it will be Will Lamb a chance to make it 40. Make this a 32-point game. And when you're a Thunderbird in this moment here, you got to keep playing the game the right way. Just because the score is lopsided, no need to be sloppy. Continue to work on your craft. So that Run. one's up, and it falls through 78 to 40. Work on running the plays, moving your feet, causing turnovers like that. Keep, keep trying to improve because it's a long season. Now you're getting a lot of opportunities you don't get anywhere else. You have a game where... It would take a lot to come back, so you're going to get to try out some of those things you've done in practice against real teams. An invaluable resource for a lot of these young players. That's going the other way quickly. Will Lamb at the rim. It's up and it's through. 42 now for the T-Birds. 78 to 42 the score. Two and a half left to go in the third. Kicked out. It's up. And it'll be good. A great shot there by Andy Grando. Granado, number two. Could be seeing a 100-plus point game here for the Bobcats. Bryant has it, gets it out to Lamb. Lamb forces his way in. Won't be able to finish, so he'll get a trip to the charity stripe. so important to not get caught up in the score as a, as a Thunderbird. And same thing with the Bobcats. A lot of reserves are playing now. This is your opportunity not to just jack up a bunch of shots. Show the coach you've been listening to him in practice. Do the things he's been telling you. Move your feet. You get a chance to sit up for a charge, get down there and sit up for a charge. You can earn some playing time right now. It's very important for the reserves to show the coach their improvement because you you know in practice it's just like in school you're in practice you're getting your you're doing your lessons you're doing your homework doing the assignments and then here's the test yeah this is test night and here's a chance like Harrington right there good play right there quick steal by Harrington he's back up won't be in and Sterling exactly like you were saying I remember a lot of times being on that maybe second string offense or defense these are times where you can show your coach that you deserve some starting reps. You're right. implementing a lot of those. You're down a lot. You're not letting that get to you. You're showing off a lot of those things that you've learned in practice that you've gotten better on and maybe a lot more playing time coming your way, a lot more minutes on the floor. So it will be a trip to the line here for number two, Andy Granado. He'll sink the first one, 82 to 42. Once again, a 40-point game. He'll sink the next one. So it's a 41-point game here, 83-42. to 42. And as a reserve, when you come in, look at the score of the game. Do your own personal plus-minus. Did, did the lead increase when I came in? Or did the lead go down? Did we cut into the lead when I came in the game? That's what you do in games like this, to keep that competitive spirit. Exactly, an athletic mindset needed all throughout. That shot a little off. Harrington back with it. He'll fake once. He tries to get it to Bryant. It's bobbled. Bryant will have it. He'll go up for it. Low on the pass off the rim. Harrington finds it on the rebound. He goes up for it himself. Not going to be good. He'll find his own rebound. He'll go up for it a third time. That one will finally fall in. It's 83 to 47.
quickly moving it underneath there, and that will be out of bounds with just under a minute to go in the third. Just over nine minutes to go in the ball game. A competitive hour of basketball, no matter the score. Some great offense and defense from both sides. Two very competitive basketball teams here. Harrington up from deep, and he'll sink that one easily. So 83 to 50, your score now quickly with 35 seconds left to go, 30 on the shot clock. That one almost takes out a cheerleader, but rain back in. It's up. Not going to be good on the shot there from the Bobcats, but kicks it back out quickly. That won't be made either, so it'll be Will Lamb going the other way with it. It'll be poked out of bounds there. Poked out of bounds there by number four, Adam Brown, the junior guard. For the Bobcats, it's up from Harrington. Almost able to recreate that. 11 left on the shot clock. Nine, eight, seven, and counting. They will try and just run down the time here. They'll go for a shot. Not going to be good. Well, Sterling, eight more minutes to go. A 30-point deficit. If you're the coach for the T-Birds, how do you get them back into this one? Uh, you just work on things that, that you might want to institute in the future. You just want to make sure you can keep playing the right way. It becomes now practice time, for lack of a better term, and seeing who got the heart to keep going, to keep playing hard, not just be out there like it's recess, to keep playing the game the right way. Absolutely. And, well, we will be back right after a short break here. Don't go anywhere on Lake Area Sports. Last, contact Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 to schedule your project estimate today. Since 1954, F.L. Davis Ace has proudly served the Greer's Ferry Lake area by providing the best hardware and home improvement needs to our customers. Stop by one of our six Arkansas locations in Greer's Ferry Heber Springs, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, or Centerton, and let us show you why we're more than just a hard. We are back and ready to go here in the final eight minutes of the ball game. Lamb has it for the T-Birds. It's into number 33, wing it. It's up. That shot is off the iron. And it's reined in there by Andy Granado. Taken back across their court by Timothy Martin. Back over to Martin. Martin gets it to 20. Horton. Back to Horton. Back over the top there to Brown. It's up. Shot going to be no good there, but rebounded by Brown, and it's through. Good job there by Brown to get in the scorebook. 85 to 50 the score now. That one's no good. Going back the other way. Under seven to go. It's back over top. Horton has it. Not going to be good. Just a tad too much on that one. So it's going the other way. Lamb begins marching. Gets it to Haley. Haley back to Lamb. Sorry, Gordon, number 21. There's number 33, Wingette. Back to Montgomery. Oh, and a great block there. Not going to let him get that shot off. 6-10 left to go as the clock keeps running. Timothy Martin. Great block, and he had a great extra pass on the offensive end while ago. He made that extra, that one more pass from a good shot to a great shot. Absolutely right on that one. There's another one. Great ball movement from Martin here. It's underneath, but a good block from Lamb. It's going the other way. 
Hicks has it, but he's contested. It's Marshall's ball once again. They're pressing back in underneath the net. Kicks it over to number 11. Back on top. The shot is up, and it's through. Number 20 sinks that one in easily. Matthew Horton with the big shot there. 88 to 50 the score. That one's up. Not going to be good. But a chance for them to keep this one closer. 5-12 to go. Whistle blown. And so it will be Thomas Lamb taking a trip to the line with five minutes to go in the game. It's up. Not going to be good, but he'll get another chance. 88 to 50, the score. He sets up for the second one, plants the feet. It's up there. It's through. 88 to 51, the score now. Four minutes, 20 seconds left. Marshall has the ball. Oh, and quickly snagged there. It's up and it's down. A great way to set himself up was Montgomery. Nice 53. anticipation. Great anticipation by Montgomery to get that ball. A nice little, again, a great job of shielding. Use your body to shield the ball away from the defender. And nice English off the glass. So he will go to the line to try to make it a three-pointer. It's up. And it's through. 88 to 54. The bank's open at 8.30 here at Guy Perkins. It most definitely is. We're seeing a lot of it. And they are moving across the court is Marshall. That ball almost getting away from him. Tangled up in the feet there of number 24, Shea Dunham, as it will once again be the T-Birds ball moving back across half court. Montgomery has it. Gets it to number four, Pate. Pate into 21. Gordon. That shot's up and no good. Going back the other way. Just over 2.45 left to go in the ball game. Marshall has it down near their own net, but it's going back after the bobbled pass. Lost control of it there. Into the corner. Shot is up. No good. But it's right back up on the offensive board. Ball is loose. It'll be reined in by Marshall. Contested. It'll be going back now. That's Montgomery with the ball. Very good defense here by Marshall in the later minutes of this one, 2.15 to go. They're wrestling for it, whistle blown, jump ball called. It will be Guy Perkins' ball with two minutes exactly. <laughs> A quick first or fourth quarter. Back over the top. 140 left. Moving the ball once more, and that's out of bounds off the scorer's table. Will be the Bobcat ball. A fresh five in for Marshall here. A fresh five for both teams. None of the starters remaining in this one. It's up, no good, but the offensive board is almost grabbed there. Going the other way now is Gordon. A minute left. It's up. Off the back iron there of the rim. He'll pick up the board. That shot not gonna hit either, trying from the top of the key again. It's Marshall's ball.
That one will bounce out. 35 seconds to go in this one. Clock not stopping. That's up, no good. Shot clock turned off, we'll finish this one here. Fifteen seconds. It's up. And it's through. 88 to 57. And that is the ball game. A commanding victory here for the Bobcats. 88 to the T-Birds, 57. It is Marshall that comes away victorious in all three ball games played today, going 3-0 here at Guy Perkins High School. Well, Sterling, it was a, a great matchup for both games, but it seems like the Bobcats just had the better of them twice. Yes, the, the girls got put in Lady Thunderbirds. Again, they need to take care of the ball a little better, better rebounding, and they can turn this thing around the, the Thunderbirds, the boys. A lot of work to do, but it's a lot of time to get it done. This is the opening night. Marshall looked very good, came here and took care of business. Well, and that will do it from us here at Lake Area Sports. 88-57, to 57, your final from Austin Stokes and Sterling Sharp. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.